You are starting soon and break screens suck. But it's okay, because I'm here to make it better. And do you want to know the best thing? This isn't just for Twitch. This is going to work on YouTube as well. Now we've all been there, you need an extra five minutes to get ready before stream, or you need to take a break midstream to get a coffee or whatever. The problem is, how do you get your chat to stay around? How do you keep them entertained? Well, what if I told you you could make a working Pokemon emulator that your chat can play? So for this, you're just going to need three things. An emulator, a Pokemon ROM, and Streamabot. Now my emulator of choice is the MGBA, just because it has the cool Super Game Boy border around it, but you could really use whatever you want. So after you've installed your chosen emulator and got it up and running, you're going to need to customize the keybinds. So to do this on MGBA, you go to Tools and Settings, and then go to Keyboard, and from here you can bind your keys to the buttons. So bind whatever you want, and just make a note of what you've done, because we'll need this information later. Also, don't worry about binding keys that you're going to use for other games, because we're going to be switching on and off the ability for chat control. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come into Streamabot, and we're going to go into Actions, and we're going to create a whole list of new actions. We're going to create a new action for each button press. So as you can see, I've done some here already. I'm just going to do the last one just to show you how to do it. So it's just right click, add, name A. Group is Pokemon. If you don't have the Pokemon group, if you just, when this is blank, if you just type Pokemon in it, it will create it for you and then you can add subsequent ones to it. Okay. So once you've made the action, you're going to go to sub actions, core, system, keyboard press, and whatever your A corresponds to on your keyboard, that's what you're going to put in there. So N. So whenever that action for A is triggered, it's going to press the N key. So next, you're going to head over to the commands panel and you're going to make a command for each button press, just like you did with the actions. So go A, B, down, left, right, select, start and up. And then if you go into this, so this is saying whenever anyone types in chat A, you want to perform the action, linking it with action A. Also, you can put this in a group called Pokemon. And if you're on Twitch, you want this checkbox that says Twitch message. If you're on YouTube and you want it to work there, just tick the checkbox that says YouTube message. And then just do this for each of these other ones. So once you've done that, it should look like this. You've got your group Pokemon and all the commands linked to the correct actions. This is the core of what's going to let your chat control the emulator through their chat. So once you've done that and got it all up and running, you need to go into your OBS and make a new starting soon and a new be right back screen. So as you can see, I've just gone for a simple Game Boy Advanced overlay and I've put the gameplay in the middle. So once that's all set up, we're going to need to go and create three new actions. We're going to create a stream start, be right back and back to stream. So in the stream start action, you're going to have these sub actions. So you're going to be OBS set to active scene. To do that, you just right click OBS set active scene and then choose your starting soon screen. Then you're going to command group Pokemon enable. This is going to turn on all your Pokemon commands. For that, it's just right click commands, set command group state. And you can choose your Pokemon group and enable third command you're going to do is perform command. So this is the one that's going to load up the emulator. For that, you're going to right click core system perform command. Then you're going to go here, click that. Then you're going to search for where your ROM is saved. Highlight that and click open. Next, you're going to want a delay of about five seconds. Just to give it time to load up. And then you're going to keyboard press F10 and keyboard press enter. This is going to load your save state and then run your save state. And we're also going to do this for when we switch back to our normal scene. So it means any progress that your chat has made will be saved and loaded and they can actually continue playing through the game. Your be right back is going to be exactly the same, except the OBS set active scene is going to be be right back. So to switch back to your regular stream, your first command is going to be shift plus F10. So for that, 
you just need to go to core, system, keyboard press, same as you did with the other triggers, but this time you're going to highlight the shift box and then select F10. So that's going to open the save state and then another keyboard press straight away, enter will save the state. Wait for one second and then Alt F4 out and then set OBS to whatever your main screen is and then command group Pokemon disable and then you're going to need an easy way to trigger it. So I have a stream deck so I can use the stream bot plugin to trigger certain actions on my stream deck. So this one is when I press the button it's going to trigger the stream start. Be right back and back to stream. If you don't have a stream deck that is an easy way. So on your streamer bot, you can go to the hotkeys tab. Here, you can right click to add any hotkey to trigger an action. So if we right click add, and just say for example, number one, click control here. That means if you click hold control and press one, it'll do whatever action you want. And then we can just set that to stream start. And you can just add all the others. So we've got start stream, be right back and back to stream. And they are control one, control two and control three. So even if you don't have a stream deck, it's very easy to do. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helped you out a bit. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put all my socials down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, everything like that. I'm going to be making more videos like this, mainly how to do streamer bot stuff. So if you're into some more advanced stuff, then it'd be good.